Good morning, you guys. Uh, what's going on? A um, little updates, real quick. Um, 305 motor, haven't received it back from a machine shop yet. So, as soon as that gets in, I'll go ahead and start rebuilding that. They had to go and take it to a, a specialty shop to get it, what's called shake and bake, to get all the crap out of there. Um, they're waiting for parts to get back so that way when the block gets back, they can machine it, make sure everything fits right, all that. Um, other than that, the, uh, my, my truck's running fine, took it to a shop. They said that it was the rear main seal that had sprung a small leak, so they fixed that for me. Um, I do have to take it back later on to have them check out what's going on with my injectors on cold starts and initial warm-up. But once I get that going, I'll let you guys know what's going on with that. So for right now, I'm back here working on this 550, getting this bed off. So if you're new to the channel, what I'm basically doing is this bed is coming off and I'm going to make an enclosed trailer out of it. And the rest of the truck is getting scrapped minus the axles underneath the truck because that will be going on my 250. Now, real quick, I just picked up this Predator 9000, so I know it's overkill right now for just a little grinder, but um, I was in the market for a new generator anyhow because this one that I had retrofitted on my old trailer just never really worked it too well. Plus, it's only 120 and I needed something for 240. So, picked up this little Harbor Freight Predator 9000. Um, this was an open box, and I've gotten a lot of hate from a lot of people saying, oh, open boxes don't work. Well, let me tell you, I just put a little bit of gas, I think I had like two gallons into this uh, from another thing. Uh, put two gallons in this, started up, checked all the outlets, they're all working fine. So, for an open box item, I scored and I have a air compressor at home that was an open box as well and I've never had any issues with it the only issue I have is when it's cold out and I haven't ran it in a while it take, tends to take a while to start up but once it's running and it's got some heat in it it's like a diesel they continue to run so basically let me show you what I'm doing right now so if you get up under here that bracket that bracket is what basically the u-bolts I mean let me see um, right there I went too far but yeah so this bracket all the way down the length is what I'm trying to take off all the way down so I can get this bed off plan is just to lift the bed off with a tractor jack and then just drag the tr uh, truck out from underneath it it'll make me a lot easier but I gotta get this undercarriage part off I got one more uh, bracket down there in the back and I got the whole passenger side and then a couple of these braces that are bolted in and then in the back they've welded it to the frame so I just got to go through there cut everything off so let's just hope that my little nine dollar Harbor Freight grinder can hold up to the abuse that I put through it um, I could have gone out and bought into like a big name brand Milwaukee DeWalt um crap like that but to be honest that thing cut half of this metal that's on this truck or on this trailer right here so it held it's holding up just fine and like i said if it goes out it's nine bucks not a big deal for me so i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down i'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse um i finally got my gopro back up and running so i'll use that for time lapse so that way you can follow along so here we go all right guys, it's the next day. Um, rain came shortly after I ended the last video, so I really didn't do anything. Um, so I misplaced my GoPro for some reason, so um, gonna have to try and locate that. But basically, let me show you what I'm doing. Like I said yesterday, I had to cut those braces off, but I got that one brace cut right there. Yeah, I could have just unbolted it, but I had the grinder out already, so I just decided to cut it. So I got that cut, I got the other one that was sitting right here cut. I gotta get this out, damn plant. Gotta get this out of the way so I can clear the tire. And then I got one more right there that I have to cut off. And then the back side I have to cut off too. And then I have to do the whole other side, so. 
Let me see if I can at least get my tractor jack to lift up this side real quick. See if it's starting to split and then see if where else anything is hooked onto. I really don't want to crawl underneath this. Like I said, it rained last night. The ground's still kind of wet, so let me grab my tractor jack and see how it goes. I just realized that I was not recording. So basically, like I said, I got my tractor jack up here. See the gap that's coming. Um, so we know that it's it's capable of lifting it up. Um, it's not sinking into the ground too much. So let me go ahead and get the other side cut off and then we'll be set to go. Might try a different approach with this. Um, I might take my oxy accelerating torch that I have at work, just cut these angle lines off because I'm going to be going through this disc pretty quiet, frequent, and I don't really want to have to do that. So I'll probably just wait on these. I'll go to the other side and knock out those uh, those other U bolts, get them off, and then we'll deal with the rest of this when the time comes. So let's get on over there. That's my finger right there. Ain't that some bitch. So one more thing I noticed while I'm under here. I don't see the one that was supposed to be in line right here on that side. I don't know if it's behind there, but I gotta get these two boxes off before I can get the rest of the U-bolts. And like I said, I'm probably just gonna take the oxy selling torch to this one. I'm gonna keep this box, try and reuse it for a cabinet box inside. I'll just clean it up and make it look nice. But uh the other thing I was looking at is top to the back. I don't know if I showed you this or not. But it's welded right here too. So I'm gonna have to cut that off right there. And then there's another little piece right there. It looks like it's welded on the bottom, like very badly. So I'm gonna try and just cut the plate off right there. Cut that off at the top. And then when I extend the frame out, I'll use this section right here. I'll just make the same cut as it is and then weld it up and then just put a piece of plate metal over that so as you can see cut that off um, 
as I was underneath cutting off the back two in there, I decided to go and just torch off the three bolts that are on the other side where I couldn't get to the other day while I was grinding them. So I'm going to go over, get that box, and get the other um, undercarriage tray out, and then probably move on to the back. Alrighty guys, just to finish up, I just finished up cutting up everything that I need to to get this bed dismounted. I actually still have to get the other side, but I might have to move the truck over because I'm too close to the fence. And I had a small little fire hazard that came up as I was trying to avoid, but nevertheless, I'm probably going to pull this away from the fence so I can work around it a little bit easier. I'll probably park it right here where my trailer was, but um, as you can see, we get up under here. It's fully separated now so there was actually one more bracket that was sitting right there that I didn't see but the backs fully disconnected off um, I have my jack on the other side that's why it's looking so weird but so that's gonna be it for this video um, it's probably taking me a little bit longer to record this one because um, just of time and me being down a whole day due to uh, my COVID booster shot, but um, I'm all better now, so I'm going to get this cleaned up and um, try and get this truck moved over. I'll probably call a friend to help me move it over, So, but I'm going to end it off there. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you like this video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. See you later.